The story is about a companion by the name of Marthad bin Abi Marthad. And this companion, he lived at the time of the Prophet ﷺ, of course, and he migrated with the Prophet, peace be upon him, from Mecca to Medina. And he was a very strong, tall, good-looking man. And the thing about him is that in Jahiliyyah, which means before Muhammad ﷺ came out as a prophet, before he became a Muslim, he used to have a girlfriend. And his girlfriend, her name was uh, I think her name was Anaq. And what happened is that he used to go back to Mecca and he used to make an appointment to pick up any of the prisoners and take them himself back to Medina in secret. He says, I made an appointment to save one man to carry him with me. And when I got there, obviously in secret, I hid behind the shadow of one of the walls of Mecca. He says, as I was hiding, hoping that no one sees me. Suddenly, Ana came along. SubhanAllah, out of all people, it had to be his ex. I don't know if they have sixth sense or something like that, something about him. She saw his shadow and she came forward. And then she said, Marthad? And he just replied, yes, it's me, Marthad. And she said, welcome, welcome, Marthad. How about tonight you come and spend the night with us? And Marthad simply said, Ya Anaq, Haram Allahu Zina. Allah has forbidden zina. Zina means fornication, adultery, sleeping with someone who is not your own wife or husband in the haram. As soon as he said that, and he's afraid, he's thinking, okay, she's going to shout, she's going to do something. She didn't like that answer. So she screamed, oh people, oh men, come and grab this man who's stealing your prisoners. He said, about eight men followed me and I ran away. I ran into one of the mountains, one of the hills close to Mecca, and I climbed into a cave, a little cave back in the, in the ground. And these men lost me. Suddenly they came towards where the cave was. They stood right above me and they started to urinate. And the urine came on my head while I was quiet. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made them blind. They couldn't see me until they left. So then I got up, went and saved the man and took him back to Medina. Now listen to this. He said, I went to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I said to him, O Messenger of Allah, how about if I marry Anaq? How about if I marry her? He still had feelings for her. He still had a bit of love for her, some memories. And he said, Ya Rasulullah, what do you think? The Prophet, peace be upon him, did not reply. And then after a little while, he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the words Az-zani la yankihu illa zaniyatan aw mushrika wa az-zaniyatu la yankihuha illa zanin aw mushrik The adulterer or the fornicator will not marry except another for a, a woman fornicator or an idolater. And a woman who is a fornicator, no one will marry her except another fornicator or an idolater. O oh, Marthad, do not marry her. What this means, the scholars said, there's a difference of opinion, but the majority say, that it's permissible to marry someone who had committed zina, 
or probably even still commit zina. And they said that it helps maybe situations where people got stuck in the wrong way. They have a girlfriend or a boyfriend and they have an attachment to them. And so long as, you know, they're, well, I hope no Muslim does that or a Christian or a Jew. And then they marry him, hoping that they repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.